Hi, this is another update to my build uh, for the Adam Man half track group build. Since my last update, uh, I've uh, made some progress on painting and weathering, and so uh, I did uh, I did some chipping with hairspray and white paint on the gun. I wanted to try this out first because this is my first try with hairspray chipping. It turned out to be uh, fairly easy, uh, at least for me. Uh, the, the job is okay. Uh, I think over time uh, my techniques will get a little better. Uh, but I, I found it uh, pretty easy to do, almost too easy, uh, a little bit more chipped off than I wanted. Uh, then after that I added uh, some oil paint um, weathering and I used uh, burnt umber oils. Uh, that went fairly fairly well. Uh, this, uh, this video is not a step-by-step -step, so I'm not showing uh, you know, what I did in the process, just more, more or less the final product. As for the, the vehicle, um, I did do some, I attempted to do some pen wash, uh, added the decals, uh, some, some chipping around some of the edges. I feel it's a little overdone, but uh, I, I know you guys, uh, I got some comments in the Google Plus group build uh, community and uh, they didn't think it was all too bad. I, I tried in the back here to uh, again. This is uh, this is what did I use? I used AK streaking grime, and I tried to get the effect that it was somewhat not not fresh rust, but kind of old baked in rust, especially in the seams uh, in the between the or the joints between the panels. And um, yeah, so I guess that turned out all right. Uh, this, as for the seat, I just used some some brown on that. Uh, didn't really get heavy into the cab and uh, that area, uh, the dash. Uh, I I'm, I have a hard time seeing right now. Kind of uh, healing, uh, still in the healing process of uh, a recent eye surgery, but um, so I can't see that that small. But maybe future builds I'll. I'll try to address the dash. Uh, I also assembled one of the tracks. Uh, these are uh, fuel tracks or fuel model tracks for a seven-ton vehicle. And I tried my hand at burnishing using the MIG burnishing fluid. And that that was fairly straightforward. Um, some spots I noticed, and I, I had knew I had known about this. Some spots where CA glue was present uh, didn't burnish that well, kind of protected the metal. So uh, I, I do plan on kind of doing a uh, kind of a, maybe a light weathering over the tracks just to imp you know, make them more uniform, I guess. Uh, that'll be after I put them on the, the vehicle. So the next step is uh, I'm going to go ahead and whitewash uh, the, the, the half track and uh, see how that goes. So I've taped off the places where I where I don't want any uh, hairspray or white paint going, and I've uh, applied the the coat of uh, hairspray, and I'm letting that dry. So then once that dries, I'm going to add or I'm going to apply the uh, the Tamiya XF2, so it's white. I'm going to go ahead and add maybe a drop or two of XF57 to uh, tone it down a little bit so it's not quite so stark white and then I'm going to spray that uh, around the wheels, the fender, the hood and then uh, uh, do the chipping. So I finished up the whitewash and the chipping of the whitewash and I think it looks pretty good. I kind of mellowed out compared to the, the gun that I did um, yeah, I think I little I chipped off a little too much on the gun, but uh, anyway. So, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. So 
So next up, I am going to apply uh, not as much as I did here, but I'm going to apply uh, some uh, uh, grease and grime, some oils, uh, to weather up uh, some of the areas around the the uh, the engine a little bit and uh, down near the wheels, maybe uh, in the hubs. Okay, continuing on with the update, uh, I've done even more. This is kind of, this whole video is kind of a, more of a piecemeal of uh, work that I've done step at a time. Uh, I finally did the windshield. Um, it's workable. Uh, I'm not real happy with, so I tried to make it uh, look dusty, but, uh, you know, with the windshield wiper kind of a, uh, an opening there, but it didn't. It's not exactly what I want, but I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Um, I have added, uh, I did put on the tracks, at least one side. The other side uh, has yet to be done. This, These are the tracks for the other side. Uh, not real motivated to finish them, but I will finish them in the next week. Uh, they were a bear uh, only because of each of these little pads here. I'm sure it's going to be hard to see, but these actually come in two pieces. The uh, putting the links together with uh, I did it with staples. That was actually pretty simple and pretty fast. But the uh, gluing the pads on was not easy, and a lot of them come off, and so it was very painful. So I did put the track on. I I like them. I probably will continue with fuels fuel fuel model as much as I can. They are expensive though. Uh, so I added. I tried to. Uh, give a rust look to the uh, to the gates so I, I added a uh, couple layers of let's see if I can get this in there so model color uh, it comes from a set So rust stains, rust stain and streaking from Vallejo. So I used just two of the colors out of there. So an orange rust and a orange brown. And the effect is, oh, it's 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 not horrible. So you know, it's it probably can be done better, but I like it, and I'm gonna leave it. So what's next? So this completes this update for uh, update number three, I guess, uh, for this uh, group build. The next thing I'm going to be starting on, uh, obviously finishing the track. Uh, the gun is pretty much finished. I can probably do some more painting uh, of things in the back here. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. The next thing is it's starting a diorama. So I already have a picture frame as my base. I've glued on, uh, I've taken the glass out, I've glued on the, the cardboard. Uh, so it's getting ready for the diorama. And I am going to use sculpt -a mold I hear, I've never used it before. I've done dioramas in the past, not for uh, scale models, but uh, I have not used uh, sculpt -a mold And so I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Uh, I know that it, has, it, it works quite well, so we'll see how it goes. So this concludes uh, the update number three for the group build, and hopefully you'll hear from me fairly soon for the next update uh, where uh, we go over um, uh, the progress on the diorama. So the idea is to have a winter, simple, n nothing real fancy, just kind of a, a winter diorama, uh, kind of more, more or less flat scene, uh, maybe a tree and some bushes and uh, some some snow. So I did purchase some Tamiya powder snow effect. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, even the sculpt mold itself uh, probably does a, a decent job of simulating snow, uh, maybe with a paint, uh, uh, a white color over it. Anyway, um, so thanks for watching, and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be back with another update soon.